So if that was green, that would have to be green. Oh, deary me. Um, so we've got two, then we've got another two, which could be there, then a three, then an eight, which oh, that's this. This column is useless. This column at the moment is useless. This column. This column is not useless anymore because this black region here has helped. So if that's a dot, 28 must be four cells. Right, so we get a couple more greens into those positions, which of course are useless. Um, now, ah, there's a two there, look. I'm going to take advantage of that, which means this square is a three now because it can't be a one and a two. That gives me another black square. Thank you. I will take that. There must be a 9 in one of those cells because of this 22 clue in three cells. This square, we don't know. Eight dot. Now, oh, this is so unconstrained. Block. So the two has got to go in one of these two. So this two here has got to go either here, where it would have to have a one above it, or here, where it has to form a... Ah, that's impossible. So if this is a two, what goes into this square in order to make this add up to five? It would have to be a three, and that would clash. So the two goes here, which means this is a one, and that means that square is a black square. These two turn green. That becomes, and that become blue. That must be a black square. This one we don't know. This is a single digit clue. Although, although actually I say that, it's a, it is a single digit clue, but it doesn't have a... M a plethora of options. It can be one, four. It's got to be a digit that's not a given digit. So it can be six, seven, or nine. So this is one, four, six, seven, or nine. Well, it can't be four because if it's four, you'd have to put a three here and you can't. So it's not four. Is it six? If it's six, you can't use one, two, three. It would have to be a five. Oh, five here. That looks like it's going to be what it needs, isn't it? N no. That fails for a weird reason. That fails because of pentomino logic. Because those two squares would have to be black. And now this pentomino here connects to this pentomino. It's not part of the same pentomino. So actually, five does not work there. Or six, sorry, six as a clue, but five into this square. Seven, seven won't work. Because that would either make this a six, which clashes with the five, or mean I have to do a three cell seven clue, which would need a two. Nine isn't going to work either for exactly the same reason. You have to use a two and a three and a three cell nine clue. You have to use a two or a three. So I think this has to be a one. If I'm wrong, you'll have to sue me. I think that's a one and I think I can make that blue. Now, does this break the puzzle open? Oh. No, but it does mean the eight. Um, it does mean the eight in this row must now be just be a single celled eight. This ah uh, now hang on, these pentominoes must be the same, so that must connect to that. And this can't be a Y pentomino because we've already got one of those, so that must be green. It can't be a Z pentomino. I've already got one of those, so that must be green. It can be an F or is that an N? I think that's called. Oh, and this is a 28. Oh, oh, this is this is great. That's 28 means that's green. And I think this has to be a single cell eight for the reasons I was just harping on about. So that is an eight. That means this. Oh, that means both of those squares are black because I've got no clues between the eight and the three. Uh, so this square. Oh, no, that could still be a two cell five or a single five. Bother. Oh, 
and it was going so well. Um, ah! Thirty. No, that's no use. Maybe I've got to go back to the pentominoes again. This square must be green, because if it's black, it's connected to this one. This is either going to be a W or an L. Actually, if that square's green, maybe I can. That's a really interesting cell to be green. Actually, this square's green for the same reason. So this this square must be a oh this is brilliant this square must be a two because this is a twelve that must be a solitary two why does that matter oh well it oh no it doesn't oh, well I'm not sure it matters it gives me another I'm not sure why it matters maybe it doesn't. <laughs> don't believe it so this this eight is what I was looking at there but it could be two cells or just one cell what a puzzle this is this is so hard um, I've not even got anywhere near fill, filling in the pentominoes yet I'm gonna be very interested after if I can finish it to see what the sort of the time from the world's best solvers is for a puzzle like this whether they get it done in sort of 15 minutes or something that would be incredible um, Ah, sorry, this is now hem this N in. So that is an N pentomino. That must be green. These these regions have to be kept apart, look. So this is a 1-4 version of the 5. This pentomino has to come out. Oh, good grief. So now we're getting... a. We've, we really are cluttered here in terms of... trying to finish off these shapes. Just wondering, I've got to put an X pentomino in somewhere and an X pentomino is a horribly, horribly difficult pentomino to put in if I can't put anything connecting to it diagonally. This, that would have to be an F. Ah. Ah, that doesn't work. Okay, that's interesting. This can't be an X pentomino. Let me just show you why exactly. Those squares have to turn green. This square can't connect to this black run, so it would have to be an F pentomino, making all of those squares green. And now this can only be a P pentomino, which it can't be. So maybe this is a good way to think about this. Where does the X pentomino go? So if this was the X pentomino, Let's just so look at that. All of these squares would turn green. Oh, that, that well, you can see that either be, therefore becomes a P or it connects to this one, which is impossible. So I think, actually, with reflection, there is only one pentomino that can be the X pentomino. And I hope to God it's this one or this is all going to be for nothing. Um... That must be an F now. That does fit, thank goodness. That's rather nice, look. This square being black disambiguates this pentomino, makes it W. This can't be a P pentomino, so it must take that. It now can't be an F pentomino, so it doesn't take this. This becomes a T pentomino, and I'm missing, missing the L pentomino, which does go there if I do that. Wow. Okay, so that is how to do the pentomino part of the puzzle. Now we have to do the rest of it. Um, now let's try and pick off any easy digits. So that's a laugh, isn't it? Easy digits in this puzzle. That's, that's a five, that's a five. Let's shade those two in. Uh, no more up there. That five we've sort of fixed, three. I should be oh that's a one two pair look let's put that in I'm gonna say I've done that because I sort of have that must be an eight on its own 
So let's put that in. I wonder if I'm going to be better or worse at the sort of this part of the puzzle. Um, ah, that square's got to be an eight for the same reason. That must be a two. So both of those turn blue. 22. No, I don't think we get any more from that one or that one. So we get to here. Okay. Um, now, what does that tell us about the world? I have not got a clue. Uh, is there anything easy here now? Please don't let this still be very, very difficult. Um, so this clue's got to be, just looking at this clue, which is 12 in three cells, but it can't use a two. So it must use a one uh, because three, four and five add to 12 and that would break that with that five there. So it's got a one in it. Oh, and it can't have an eight in it. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. This gives us a one, four, seven triple because once we get there's a one in it, the other two cells add to 11, but they can't include three, eight. They can't include two, nine. They can't include five, six. So this becomes one, four, seven, a snooker score, if ever I heard one. That's 12. Ah, we get this one. This is 12 clue. Well, if this was a four, that would have to be an eight and there's an eight in the row. So that's a seven. That's a five, that's a four, that's a one. Splendid Melchard. Um, now, 15 here. So these two add up to seven without, oh bother. So it's three, four or one, six, both of which are possible. This one, we don't know what it is. This one, I suppose, it does disambiguate this. Ah, that gives me a few more digits. Look, that's nice, thank you. Um, oh, this has got to be 13 without using a one and a two. So it's got to be three, four, and six. That's the only way you can do that. So that's three, four, six, let's color it in. This one we don't know anything about. This 20 clue maybe, given we got a five in here. This is interesting. This is interesting. Let's look at this. It's not possible to put a nine in any of those, those two positions. If this was a nine, this clue would have to be double digits. If this was a nine, this is a 12 clue. So this would be a three, which it can't be. So this has to add up to, it has to add up to 20. That's the only thing it can get to that starts with a two. So that's a seven and an eight. This, this can't be a seven, because if it was, this clue would have been a given clue. It would have been an eight. So this must be the eight. This must be the seven. This must be a five. Uh, so that we can shade in, that we can shade in. That felt like decent logic, but it's still not really buttering any parsnips, as Mark likes to say. Uh, at least it doesn't seem like I've made an error yet. I think it, this puzzle would be incredibly easy to make an error in. These squares, ah, these squares can't include a seven, but we've got to get as high as at least 30. So they've got to be six, eight, and nine. Oh, that's good. Okay, does that give us anything? No, of course it doesn't, but at least it limits the options for those cells, I suppose. Oh, that's, that's an interesting, this run of five, has to add up to 33, but can't use a five. So that's only that's only possible one way then. That's three, six, seven, eight, nine. If you can include a five, you can you can go um, four, five, 
seven, eight, nine. But as you can't, that's the only way we can do it. Now that's got a three and a six in it. So that square has got to be a four. We don't know. Oh, maybe we can narrow this down now because this is a, this is a, a clue. This is one of these clues that's either, well, it can't be one, it can't be four. It can't be seven, look, because that would need a three here and there's a three in there already. And it can't be nine. Ah, great. So this is six. This square is a two. I'm tempted, I have to say, to look at this column now, actually. I'm going to make that blue. Now, this double digit clue here has to add to something that I couldn't have clued at all. So the first digit is going to be a one. It could be a three there, couldn't it? Three is possible. Four is not possible. Six. If it was six, no, if it was six, that would have been a one, a dot three clue. So six is not possible. Seven. That would have been one, four. That would be okay. Oh. Actually, nine might work as well, thinking about it, because that could be one, six. Bother. Okay. Sorry. That was a wild goose chase. Um, Twenty-five here without using eight or five. So there's got to be a nine in there. That's for certain. Uh, because seven, six, four, three is just nowhere near. Um, does there have to be a seven in there? So nine, six. Yes, there does. There does have to be a seven. So the other two cells have got to, yeah, okay, here we go. The other two cells have got to add up to nine, but we can't use one, eight, two, seven, or four, five. So this is false. This is three, six, seven, or nine. That can't be three, look, because of this three here. Okay. Okay, well, it's a little bit helpful, isn't it? But maybe not helpful enough. Um, so I'm, again, I'm so sorry if there are many uh, obvious things I'm missing here. It's very likely to be the case. Um, it just depends where my attention goes at any one time. This has got to be 12, look, at the top here. So this is can't be used an 8. So this is either 3, 9, which would have to be like this, or it's 5, 7, which would... Ah, that's a bit limited. That's got to be like that. This 33s and that 25 are basically done. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Well, that's easy to miss, but and I did miss it. This has got nine cells in it. Oh, good grief. So this must add to 45, this row. Well, if that lot's 38, that square's got to be a seven. Whoa. Um, so those two squares have got to add up to 13 without using 7, 6 or 5, 8. These are 4 and 9. I can do that. So that's not 9. I've got to be a bit... Actually, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. This can't be 7 because that would add to 21 and that would, that would be cluable. Well, you'd have 2 dot and you don't. So that's a 3. And that means the actual clue there, let's check this works, what? Oh, no, one seven, I thought it added up to 18. I was like, why is that not clued? But no, 17, that's fine. This 20 clue now, look. Yes, this 20 clue can't have a nine in it. So this is either eight, eight seven, six or eight, seven, five. It's definitely got eight in it. Um, so this 
So this is all the rest of the digits in this row. So it is three, four, five, six, nine. Now let's see what we can eliminate here. We can eliminate three and five from that one, five from that one, three from that one, three from that one. Are we able to say anything more about this? This square, look, this is a 20 clue, so this can't be a four. When I say 20, it's 20 something. If it's if there's a four here, I just can't get to any number that begins with a two. Um, yeah, so I suspect I can narrow down the options for this square now. I'm not sure, but I suspect I can. Because if we look at the row, the actual only options for this this square are six, seven, and nine. So nine would work, a nine, six pair would work. And a six, seven pair would not work. So this can't be seven. Oh no, hang on, if this was seven, that could be seven, nine, ah, oh. ah. Oh. There's definitely a nine in here. That's what I've concluded, sorry. There's definitely a nine, therefore there's no nine there. So, ah, actually six, look, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a six, seven, eight, nine triple, I think. So this square then, what's that square gonna be? Oh, it's no good. It's quite a restricted square in the sense it's got to be, in fact, what's it got to be? It, it can't be, it's got to be one, two or four and it can't be two. So this is a one or a four. So if it's one, that has to be nine. If it's four, if it's four, this has to be six. So this is never eight. But still, although I've got, I've got, I feel like I've got lots of repeated digits in this area of the grid, but not quite enough to actually finish off the logic. This has to add to 13, look. So that square's got to be four, five, six, or seven, and it can't be five or seven. So this can't be six or eight. Nine. Thirty-three, twenty-five. Oh no! Ah, no. Oh, I was just wondering about this. This adds to twenty-two. Is there something we can do with that? The answer is I'm not sure. Um, so close now to actually resolving. Maybe here, look, this Ah, yeah, this one maybe, because that's got to be that's got to be a digit that would not be clued. So it can't be a three. That's no use. <laughs> um, this one's got to add to 12. That is useful. Look, this one is useful. That can only be three and nine. That means that's not nine. Okay, now is that helpful? I don't know. Don't know. It'd be really useful if I knew there was a five in this row. 
that wasn't here because then this would be 967 and that would have quite a big effect down here look that would force this to be a 3 this would have to be an 8 this would have to be a 5 and this would have to be a 4 But at the moment, this could still be 589. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Ah, I do know. I do know. Here is a 679 triple. So this square's got to be an 8. That means these two squares are not eight. <laughs> and it's the other way round. This is not now six, seven, nine, because if it is six, seven, nine, both of those squares have to equal three. So if this is five, eight, nine to add to 22. This is a five. These two squares are eight and nine. Now we can remove nine from there, remove nine from there, remove eight from here, remove nine from here and Please keep going. I don't believe it. This feels like it must matter, I have to say. Um, five, eight, nine here. That's got to be an eight look because of the 13 clue. I didn't spot that. So those two clues are done. This clue is a single digit clue and it's got an eight in it. So that's got to be a one. We can fill that one in. And that one. This five look means this square becomes a three. That must be, what did we work out this one wanted to be? Nine. So that 12 clue gets done. This disambiguates the nine and the eight here. That means that square is not a nine. These are, are, are nearly, nearly useful. This 25 clue look, we know those squares have got to add to eight without using three and five. So this is either one seven or two six. This can't be eight because there's an eight here. So that actually, this square becomes eight. Now let's have a look at this clue then, 33. At the moment, we've got 25. So these two also have to add up. Ah, it's the same thing again. One, seven and two, six, isn't it? Six or nine would work here, you know, because both of those would be unclued. Maybe the 18, is that limited now? Given we can't have two, three or five in here. We've got to have a one in there, that's for sure. Um, one, four, yeah, it's got to be one, four, six, seven. That's the only option. Good grief, okay. That's been sitting there for a while. You can see it's absolutely useless. I mean, that's not a bad deduction, but you can't even do any elimination in any row off the back of that. Um, Thirty something here. So this could just be six, seven, eight. That, the, these squares have to be six, seven, eight, and nine in some order. We can't put a lower digit in, uh, obviously. Now, is there anything this? Yeah, look at that. So that one can't be eight or nine. This one can be anything. That one can't be eight. And still we go on, but we, I mean, I'd like to say we're getting close to a finish. I'm not sure I am actually. 
I think very, very slowly we're inching our way towards a finish. Um, this two, does that, uh, the four helps me with these two clues. This had to add up to, in fact, I know that's a four, so that can be colored in. These two have to add up to seven. Now I know now that these are one six because they can't be two, five or three, four. One six, of course, is totally possible in that position. And in this position, oh, I don't believe it. I feel like this is real. This should be more restricted than it is. Three, four, five, six, nine. That can't be five. That can't be five actually either. Three, six, seven, triple. Good grief. Okay, so that does become a four. That might be helpful. Six, nine. Oh, good grief. Is this what I've been missing? Four, six, nine here. So we can eliminate four, six, and nine from there. We can eliminate four, six, and nine from here. So this becomes a five, which gives us a three. Oh, please keep going now. This can't be five. Interesting, interesting. This clue is interesting now. If this clue at the bottom is a six, this clue would add up to 20 something and there should be a two dot, not a dot dot. So this is a one, this is a six. The one means we can eliminate ones from there, which means we can eliminate sevens from there if my memory is serving me correctly. Now we need to presumably, three, six, seven, let me just double check the rest of this now. So this can't be nine anymore. Now we needed this, oh, both work. How does this ever get, this only way this gets disambiguated is from what this is. So this must be disambiguatable. Um, now, maybe that can be done with that one, I suppose. These two are both done. I'm colouring them in for the sake of good order. This is not done. This is done. I'm colouring it in. Anything I can colour in now just make me, me feel slightly better about myself. This has been a brutally humbling experience trying to solve this. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's keep going. Six, seven, nine. Every digit feels like you're sort of, you know, you've had to drag it up a hill. Um, three, six, seven here. That can't be eight, obviously. Let's remove that pencil mark. I can't remember if I checked this one. I don't think I did to see whether or not I could that there must obviously be a, a neither digit must be cluable here so if this is six you get one four which is fine if it's seven that doesn't work because you get one five which should be clued so this is six or eight this ah uh, this has got ah uh, look this adds to 15 and it can't use one three or five So it must have a two in it. There must be a two in, in this run of cells. And the other two cells have got to add up to 13. So this is a two, six, seven, triple. Yes, yes, two, six, seven, triple, because that gives me this square, four, and that square, nine. That fixes the three and the nine. This square can't be nine. This square can't be three. That square can't be nine. That gives me a six, seven pair. There's no sixes there, so there's no twos there, which means there's a two at the top. Three, 
this is a six seven pair so we can get rid of the six seven in there as well we've got loads of six sevens everywhere look six sevens here so this has got to be a three wow okay uh well that's good and all but it's not it's not finished it off of course um this is an eight cell run. That's interesting. This eight cell run must include a four because if the four is a missing digit, this would add to 40 something, 41 in fact. So the only place the four can go, I think, is there. Everything else is pencil marked something else. So that's got to be a one, six or a seven. Two, four. So one, two, three, four, six, seven. Five, eight, nine are the options for this square. That can't be five, so this is an eight or a nine. And if the, if, if the five was missing, we'd have the same problem. That should be 40, so the five is not missing. The only place the five can go is there. Why does that matter? This is a 20 clue, so it needs an eight and a seven. Wow, okay. That means this is a six. Seven, six, seven, fifteen here. Ah, oh, that. Ah, oh, oh, I suppose that has disambiguated that anyway. Good. I still don't know what this is though. <laughs> okay. Well, there was a little bit of. Uh, that's got to be ten. That looks good, doesn't it? So this square's blue. Everything in the bottom is done. This column is basically done. These. No, that's not done. This is done. One, two is done. Six is what went into that one. That's done. This is done. This is not really done. That's done. Done. Done to all intents and purposes. Okay. Um... Still, it resists. I mean, it doesn't just resist. It's sort of, it's almost laughing at me. Um, six, seven pair here. So again, I don't think I know. Th oh, maybe the, th no, the 33 is not. I know they add up to eight, but I still don't know which way round they go. Same thing here. In fact, is that a deadly pattern? Have I just proved I've broken the puzzle? No, I haven't broken it because it could be disambiguated by this being a one. No, I haven't. No, it's not a deadly pattern. It's complete. It's a tiredness related pattern. That's what it is. Um, this square's blue. That's blue. This is blue. This square, therefore, has got to be. Let's look at this square. This has got to be our old friend one, four, six, seven, or nine. Now it can't be four. It can't be six. Oh, I don't know. Why did I say it can't be six? That's because I thought there was a six here. This is a one or a six, apparently. Which is fine and a bit useful, except I can't see how to do anything with it. Does this need an 8 in it? That would be good if it did. I don't think it does though. It's got 10. If this was 6, 7, 9, that would be 32. And 32 is impossible because the 2 could be clued. So this is an 8. Which of course doesn't help at all. But except in, I suppose in that now I need 14 from here. So if this was uh, 6, 1, 7 would work. If this was a 6, 1. Ah, if this is not 7, you can't get there. Can you? Uh, let me just double check that. 14. Yeah, that doesn't work. This has to be 7. And now I need these to add up to 7. So this one has to be a 6. Oh, please. Oh, this one we don't know. <laughs> I don't 
believe it. Oh no. So this square now, I think hopefully this will be disambiguated by the options for here. So we've got nine. Yeah, if this was nine, it would be 18 and this could, the eight could have been clued. So this is not, this is eight, which makes this 17. Let's make it blue. Um, okay, great. The four here gives me a one here. Thank you. This has to be a double digit clue, so it's got to be a nine. That gives me the six up here. Let's remove the six from those two positions. Now this has to be 30 something. So we, we're running out of options for this now. We've now got 18 so far. So if this is seven, nine, that would be 34 and that would be fine. Thirteen also works. I don't believe it. Six nine does six nine work? Fifteen thirty three. No, that's the only one that doesn't work. Is six here and nine here? Um, two three four five six. So what are the options for this square? Five seven and nine. Ah, ha, that can't be five. It's if it was five, that square would have to have a five in it. And the, Oh, and that one can't be five. So this is a seven, nine pair. Okay, great. So that gives us a seven, nine pair in this row. But again, I still need to disambiguate the ones and the fours. I think I'm missing something really that's staring me in the face here. This is a six now, look, one, four pair. So the six means the seven, six, the one and the two get filled. That six fixes, ah, uh, maybe that's a nine. I nearly made a mistake, nine, seven. And we're left here, one, four to fill. You can see this does add up to 18, so that's working. And this is going to disambiguate the puzzle, I hope, by proving this clue to be something we couldn't clue. So 732 is 12. If this was a 1, it would be 13, which should be clued. If it was a 4, it would be 16, which would be unclued. And this is what I would submit as the final version of the puzzle. Well, I think I definitely got my comeuppance. Um, that is absolutely brutal. Um, I know I was incredible. I feel like I was incredibly slow today and I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you or some of you enjoyed watching me struggle. Uh, I most certainly did and I humbly apologize. Yoohoo, I very much enjoyed it though. Um, I'd have enjoyed it more if I wasn't on camera. <laughs> Um, but this, these things happen sometimes. Uh, it's a brilliant puzzle. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Alexa's joining in on the I video. Don't know why. Network. See you soon you on Cracking the Cryptic.